Hi everyone, welcome to Dundas Dashboard How-To Videos. This video is on how to install a license file. It will demonstrate the steps needed to take to successfully install a new license file. The reasons for installing a new license file are your current instance is about to expire, you want to go from an evaluation version to a licensed version, or you just made a major version upgrade. Now, let's get started. In this particular scenario, we want to go from an evaluation version to a licensed version. To get a new license file, you will need to receive it from Dundas Data Visualization. In my scenario, I have already received it and saved it on my desktop. The first thing you want to do is do a quick check to ensure you received the correct license file. So let's open up the license file. What you want to look at is the version number. Ensure these numbers matches with the major version of Dundas dashboard you're currently using. This can be done by checking the two digits here and comparing it to the first two digits of your Dundas dashboard version. If they are the same, this is the correct license file. Example, this particular license file is 4.0, which will work for Dundas dashboard version 4.0.1.1 and 4.0.4.5. Once you have ensured the license file is indeed correct, you would want to save the content of it. In this particular scenario, we'll leave the name the way it is and save it to our desktop. Once you have saved it, you would want to open up the Dundas Dashboard License Installer. The default location is C, Program Files, Dundas Data Visualization, Dundas Dashboard, Your Instance, Tools, License Installer, and here you'd want to open up the Dundas Dashboard License Installer application. It is a small window interface where you will need to specify the location of the new license file and double check that the location of the installed license file is indeed correct. So let's click Browse to select our new received license file. Remember, we saved its content on our desktop. Now, let's double check that the folder to install this file is correct. So let's click on Select. Here, you would want to ensure that the path goes to the license folder under the appropriate instance. In our case, it goes to the instance 447 and the license folder, which is indeed what we want. So let's click OK. We have now checked everything, so let's click Install. Note, if there is already a license file in that location, which should be by default, you will get a warning message about overwriting it. So it's very important to make a backup. I have already did so by creating a copy of the previous license file and placing it in a different location. So in my scenario, it's okay for me to overwrite it, so I'll click yes. Here, you want to read the license agreement, and afterwards, click I agree to the terms of the license, and click OK. You should receive a message saying the selected license file was successfully installed. Click OK. Now, you will need to restart the Dundas Dashboard application pool in IIS in order for the new license to take effect. To do so, please open up your IIS. You can do this by going to the Windows Start menu, type in IIS, and under Programs, select the IIS. Once it opens, you would want to go into the application pool 
and find the instance of Dundas dashboard that you just made changes to. And then click recycle. We are done, but just to ensure it worked, let's open up the dashboard again. Log in. As you can see, our expiry date no longer is present, confirming that we installed the new license file correctly. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site, support.dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.